Hi, I'm Minsley Social. Today I'm showing you how to create a custom Zoom background using Canva, and then I'll show you how to apply it as a virtual background in Zoom. So you can have a nice, clean background of whatever you want for your Zoom calls. Let's head over to the computer. So we're just going to head over here to canva.com. And Canva already has a Zoom virtual background template. So if we type in Zoom here, we can see this virtual background. And it's 1280 by 720 pixels. Canva already has some options available here. There's some really neat ones that are moving videos that you can add to your Zoom backgrounds. But we're just going to select blank because we're going to make our own. And I already have this design saved for you. You can see this is the background that I'm going to show you how to make. Our blank canvas. I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to go down to grids. I like to just put in a single picture grid to make it easier to drop our pictures in. And then I'm going to go to photos and it depends on what your goal is. You can look for interiors if you want to look like you're in the house. Or you can type in home office if you want a home office background or any office. You can see all the options. Maybe if you're recording a cooking video or something with Zoom, because you can record videos with Zoom also. Maybe you want a kitchen or there's so many different options here. If I go to my recently used, you can see some of the ones that I've selected. Get this to fill in the size automatically. We can just drag it over and drop it into that grid and I like pictures for zoom backgrounds that have something in the forefront like this here and then something in the background that make, gives it depth and makes it look more realistic thing to keep in mind when you're choosing your background I already have this image that I've chosen I think I got this one from unsplash.com and search free stock photo sites also and upload them here if you don't find what you're looking for. What I'm going to do to this, you can, you know, add a filter, you can do anything you want to it, but all I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my logos and I already have them in folders and I am just going to pop them into the image. Now if you're uploading a photo with a transparent background, you may have this problem where it tries to pop in the whole picture to your grid. So what you can do to prevent that is just select the background and lock it with this lock right here. And then you can move your text or your logos anywhere you want. This just makes it a little more custom. You don't have to do this. You can leave it just the interior if you like. But I'm going to put my Lori Hill and my Immensely Social text just to kind of have a custom background when I'm recording something for work or having a meeting for work. That's it. I'm, that's all I'm going to do. Now, there's a problem in Zoom where this could turn out backwards. And at first, I was doing all these things, trying to flip, because you can go up here, and Canva has this flip option. If you, you can't do it with text, you have to set, download the text with a transparent background. But if it is already a PNG logo that you're adding on top, you can flip these images. So at first, I was trying to figure out how I wanted to flip these to get them to show up correctly mirrored in Zoom, but I, then I found out Zoom actually has an easy tick box that you can fix that problem, which I'll show you how to do that when we get to the Zoom part of this tutorial. You just leave these like this. If you do want to flip the image, if you want this to be on the other side in Zoom or um, want this flipped around, you can easily do that. Just click the background. And of course, we have to unlock it first since I locked it. Click the background and the same thing. You can flip this and flip this horizontally. And then we have the shelf on this side and the plan on this side. And then you can move your text around to adjust them however you want to. I'm just going to leave this as is. Now we're going to go into Zoom and I'll show you how to do that part of the tutorial. Okay, so now we're here in my Zoom and I am just going to click start to start a meeting. And I'm going to show you how to put the virtual background that you just made into here. It's very easy. Here down here in the bottom where it says start video there is an arrow right here and you can go here and then choose virtual background. You can also add your virtual background if you're not in a meeting on your home screen right here by clicking this gear icon and then going right here to virtual background. There I am in front of my virtual background because I've already uploaded it. But if you don't have your background in here already you can go right here to this plus box and you can add your and upload your background that you just created with Canva. And you can see I've, um, I've made and uploaded several different ones. My Mensley Social, my Lori Hill, and you can see it's fine the way I'm recording. 
But if it were backwards, if you would happen to put text in and they're showing up backwards for some reason, our Zoom has a tick box for mirror my video. Click that and fix that problem if it's backwards. Let me show you an example. Here you can see I have another background that I uploaded and it my text is showing up backwards. If that happens, just go right here to mirror my video and it'll fix it for you. I'm close to the camera, but if I sit back, you can see everything's showing up beautifully and I have this nice virtual background. Here's one that I didn't add any text to. I just put it in plain, and select the mirror. You can see I've got something closer here and something in the background here. One with plants. Here's one that I made that's kitchen pots and pans. You can see the difference that that makes, that um, you can have a nice image. Maybe you have a wall that the paint's not too great, that you're having your calls in your home office from, or you're just, you've got too much mess going on and you need to jump on a call really quick. This is a really easy, good fix. Now, I am using a very old desktop Mac computer, and so my webcam is not the best. I'm actually having to use a green screen, and all I have for that is a green sheet. I'll show you a picture in the actual blog post of this tutorial of what I do, what my setup is behind to get this virtual background to show up. If you have a more modern computer, you shouldn't have to do that. Right here you can see mainly pick the color of the background. Color is not detected. I can choose that and you can see right here my green screen and then I can click and it should pop back in. I kind of have to move around and now my shoulders disappear. <laughs> There we go, now we've popped back in. You kind of have to play around with this, but if you have a you know better technology, your webcam should pick it up without having to use a green screen. But I will show you in the blog post a fix for that. If you're having that problem and have an older webcam like mine, um, I am using the built-in webcam. I do have an external webcam and I've tried using it, but part of the background disappears and I haven't found a good fix for that yet, but um, you can see that this is working perfectly fine. I'm at a window, so there is kind of too much light sometimes and stuff, but this is a good fix for not wanting people to see whatever's in your home or whatever your background is and clean everything up for your Zoom calls. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I'll see you next time. Be sure to check out the blog post.